A Flathead Valley woman is using her sewing skills, making protective masks for health care workers. Cape Axis Mar and Sue spoke with her and tells us how these masks can really make a difference. We're going through a lot right now just because we're we're protecting our employees, our workers, our health care workers as they see patients who might have COVID-19. Dr. Doug Nelson, chief medical officer at Kalispell Regional Hospital, says they are using tons of medical masks, ensuring their workers are safe. When Kendra Petrie heard about the possibility of a mask shortage, she knew she had to help. Kendra is the president of Flathead Valley Mask Makers, making homemade cloth masks for health care workers. I knew that this is a nationwide shortage, and so I was thinking, you know what, this is probably something that's going to come up very quickly in the Flathead Valley. We need to get a head start on making sure that our healthcare workers have the protection. It takes her 30 minutes to make one mask and she spends up to five hours a day working on mask making. Petri says if you want to help out and make a mask, make sure you're using 100% cotton fabric. The N95 mask filters out the virus, but if someone's coughing or they're uh, basically respiratory secretions are getting aerosolized, the fabric or paper mask over the top of the N95 mask can prevent those droplets and little bits of, of, of aerosolized virus getting embedded in the surface of N95 mask. Dr. Nelson says once you're done using the fabric mask, washing with soap and water will sterilize it. In Whitefish, Marin Sioux, MTN News. If you'd like to help create masks in the Flathead Valley, you can visit our website for more information and to get a mask pattern.